Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install FSR 3.0 frame generation mod on The Last of Us Part 1. And I'm doing this on my Steam Deck Steam OS. So let's boot up the game. I've already done all the settings and enabled the mod. So you should see a mod window pop up right now. Yep, this one. Okay, so I'll show you how to install it after I show you the gameplay. So stay tuned for that. I'll be going back to my desktop mode and show you how it's done. So let's talk about my settings. My Steam Deck's on 3.5.7. So Steam OS version 3.5.7 on the stable release. It's the latest apps of recording. Yep, the latest one. And in game, in game, if you go to display, okay, borderless window, 1280 times. 720 okay vsync off and then um scaling mode is amd fsr2 i'm on performance quality is performance and um yeah that's that, that's about it i turned down the uh, film grain intensity all the way down okay and for graphics i did low because um yeah if you're playing on handheld mode which i think you are um, yeah, there's not much difference. Not much difference uh, between low and medium, I think. All right, let's boot up the game. Boot up the game. And my Steam Deck settings for the performance tab. Just um, disable frame limit. That's it. Everything else is disabled. And on power tools, um, I've got SMT on, 8 threads. And governor is performance. And I've got Cryo Utilities on recommended settings, 4 gigabytes of VRAM. Okay, so in the early stages. So you can see I'm getting around 60 FPS, which I couldn't believe because you know, I didn't expect this game to run at 60 FPS. So I find like this setting is pretty good. Like you can go like graphics higher if you like at a stable 30 fps if you want something like that but um yeah this this is pretty amazing and i actually turned off the subtitles because um you know the subtitles will uh, let me show you if you put on the subtitles you'll have that flickering right, let me let me put it on i just turned it off Okay, let's just run. Oh my god. Okay. Get him out of the way. You see the subtitles? It's flickering. Yeah, that's because of the mod. So I think if you want to play this, I just turn off subtitles. So let's turn it off. Turn off off seems to be a good choice. So yeah, it's it's like really, really smooth. So I think it's really good to have FSR 3 on for this game. So let me get some more gameplay if you want to watch a little bit more of gameplay. Alright, let's get to the chopper. Let's get to the chopper. So you can see it's really, really smooth. So yeah, this technology is amazing. Like, like I'm pretty sure in the future, it's going to be even better when it's integrated natively on games. So yeah. Okay, I think that's about it. So, um... I'll leave the gameplay here and let's get to desktop mode and I'll show you how it's done. So I'll see you in desktop mode. Welcome back to my Steam Deck desktop mode. Here I'll show you how to install the mod onto The Last of Us Part 1. But before we get started, I'd like to let you guys know that I have a brand new channel called Grown Up Cooking. It's a cooking channel. Other than gaming, cooking is also a passion of mine. So I'm planning to do some cooking, um, you know, showing you some of my cooking recipes on that channel. And if you like that kind of stuff, if you like gaming, you like eating and you want to support me, go over and subscribe 
I'll leave a link in the description. The debut video is actually up already. It's a lobster dish. So go check it out. I'll give you some clips right now. Alright, we're gonna kill it. Are you ready? Oh, oh my god. Oh god, this put the sauce in. So did you enjoy that? Go watch the full video on my brand new channel, Growing Up Cooking, and also subscribe. Alright? And yeah, without further ado, let's get back to the game. So first you need to locate the game folder. Mine's right here. It's where your EXE is. So you can see here, The Last of Us Part 1.exe. It's right here. And here's my mods. So Luke FC mods. And I'm going to use the latest version as of right now, 0.7.2. Okay, and there's a few zip files, so you don't know which one to use. Go check out the compatibility list. You can see right here, The Last of Us Part 1. And it tells you that you need to use the 2201. The 220, and you can see here, fake NVIDIA GPU is false. So you don't need to like trick it to use a fake um, NVIDIA GPU. So all we need to do is select the 220 zip. And then we're going to unzip all these files onto your game folder where the exe is so i need to overwrite because i already have it done for you you might not okay and then that's basically it then we go into your steam to your game and go into its properties and in launch options we need to put this code in we need to like activate the mod so that's why we need to run that win mm dll and this is how you do it so wine DLL overrides equals open quotations win mm equals n comma b close quotations space percentage command percentage. That's what you need to do. I'll put this um, in the description so you can just copy it. You don't have to type it out. All right, and let's try, try to run the game. So if it works, we should be able to get that mod window and the game should launch. Okay, we got this um, GPU driver version message. Just click OK. And yeah, we're in the game. So inside the game, you select FSR2. Because we didn't do that fake um, NVIDIA GPU. If you do that, some games require that. And you need to select um, DLSS. But for this, since we didn't, just go to right here, um, the render scaling mode. Select AMD FSR2. And that changes us to FSR3 already. So yeah, so that's how it's done. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And if you have any issues or comments, please let me know below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.